Hi guys. Um, just gonna wait for John to join us and we are going to be doing a question and answer with him very soon. So he's worked on cruise ships. If you've got any questions, if you just pop them below. Hello. Hello. Are you okay? I'm very stressed. <laughs> Thought so when you messaged me. <laughs> right, anyone who is on here, I'm just going to do a quick like thing before we start the Q&A. Um, anyone who wants to take part in classes today or tomorrow, you will now have to go through security with one of the LSAF team um, because of some events that have happened this morning. It will take you a bit longer to get into the class, um, so please try and watch it. Um, join the waiting room 10 minutes before perfect how are you <laughs> i'm good thank you <laughs> yeah right um how are you dealing with lockdown fine now yeah it's all you for it <laughs> yeah. yeah definitely um let's see we've got some questions coming in already it's exciting um da -da -da. oh that is the wrong way around <laughs> oh my thing is getting wonderful there we go so <laughs> Um, how did you find the auditions for cruises? Well, the one that I did was through Showreel, so that was easy in an audition. But <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the past auditions that I did, Celebrity was an open. So that was, it was my first ever one, and we were still at college then. So that was quite hard, I'd say. Like, And it was manic because there was like at least 700 people there. Yeah. And then... The first round was like pirouettes, literally like pas de barre pirouettes down the room and then you cut through that and that's it. For your first audition, it's like, right, this is savage, just doing pirouettes. And yeah. then, then it went on to like more technique wise and then like a jazz routine. That's how that one went. And then p &L was totally different. Like we went straight into a routine. We had to do tap, we had to do salsa like commercial like there was a bit of everything throughout the yeah. whole day and like they didn't cut as much as like say celebrity did so they're all different like they're the only two I did and then I went and sent my show reel off a thread and then I ended up getting that so yeah Amazing. that was my audition process <laughs> not a very normal one but it's still... nah. <laughs> <laughs> um that many people are joining that the questions are getting like lost <laughs> um do you have to be small or tall or do they not mind i say they don't mind but a lot of the cruises these days have like a little brief so they'll say yeah depending on male or female like the height restrictions like i think it was norwegian that i couldn't do because it was like five foot nine or one of them were five foot nine i was like well i'm five eight but like <laughs> all i say is don't lie about your height because when it comes to it you can't fake that on the day. You can get into a difficult <laughs> position, yeah. Yeah. I think, like, you can... It doesn't matter about your height in terms of if you'll get a job or not, like, ever. But no, no. It just depends like, on... We, we, had a, we had, like, a small girl on our team, and, like, it was no different. Like, it just depends yeah. on the cruise line. and. Um, do you have to be... What are you laughing at? <laughs> just one of the questions, because I know who it is. <laughs> Um, do you have to be a strong dancer? Um, I'd say so, yeah. Like, I think, I think that's just a key aspect. Like, especially if you're going at, in an audition, if you're against, like, say, if it's an open call and you're against 700 people, I'd say you have to be a strong dancer and find a way to stand out as well. Definitely. Um, do you have to go to university or equivalent? No, I'd say no. Like, well I, well, I did, you have. And, like, it all depends. Like, there's people who go to normal university, as you say, like, do a degree, like, sort of thing. And yeah. they get cruises. Like, this, I know a few people that, like, never went to uni and just went and auditioned, and they've managed to do it. Because at the end of the day, they don't look if you went to university. Like, a lot of them don't even check your CV. I remember, like, we had our CV and headshots, and they didn't want them till further on in the day if you got kept. So, okay. like, they don't check if you went to university. They want to see if you can dance and perform and everything. Yeah. 
Um, do you have to have a strict diet being a That's dancer? That's why I was laughing at. <laughs> she's, one of the, she's one of the girls on the cruise with me. <laughs> I saw it and I was like... <laughs> I'd say no. <laughs> well, I didn't. But it, I think it all depends on your own body type and like what you want to do. Yeah, some like, people can kind of get away with eating. Like, yeah, like, I can get away with eating whatever. <laughs> like, cause my metabolism is so fast, but, like, there's people who are slower, so they have to watch what they eat. So it all just depends on you. <laughs> That's how your body works. Um, How much time do you get off as a cruise dancer? So, like, on the cruise, is that what they mean? I'm guessing so. It all varies, like, so... With our cruise, like, on Fred we had like say say it was a week cruise like we do about three shows four shows roughly but like when we did south america it was a 70 day cruise so like we did a show a week so like yeah. and then we had to do like extra duties so like the odd bingo or the quiz but like it wasn't like every day because there was 10 of us on a the team they could split it up easily and we had like we had loads on that 70 day cruise we had loads of time like to do whatever but I know like Morella for example they do a show like every night yeah so like it all depends on what cruise you're on and like what the cruise director wants and the entertainment director yeah um where did you train I trained at bodywork with Chloe, with Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> um do you have oh no I've read that one what, what do you think the best age is to go to dance school dance school is like college or... i'm guessing so because you can kind of go to like dance whenever yeah because if it's college i say well i went when i was 18 because i just weren't mature enough when i was 16 and i wanted a levels in... enough for 18? <laughs> probably not either <laughs> <laughs> but like i wanted a levels behind me in case like dance wasn't for me so at least i had a levels to go and do a degree at uni if i wanted to but dance did work out for me so it was okay but like I'd say whenever is right for you. And if you mean like dance school in general, I know people who started when like they were free or when they started when they were 12. So I think it all, it yeah. depends how hard you want to work at dance and how many hours you put in. Yeah, exactly. Um, how long do you spend in rehearsal before you go on a cruise? <sighs> that varies as well. We spent a month, but we had three days off in the whole month. So we, we rehearsed. We had a new show each week so we'd learn a show in like three days and then we had like the fourth day to like kind of go over it make sure it's good and then we'd do it like to the mirror and then yeah. the next day the next day would be a wall run so we do it towards the wall without the mirrors so like that's what we did and we had like six shows to learn and then we had like other stuff to learn as well but yeah the art rehearsals are hard and especially for me like I literally finished the, like uni on the Friday and then went straight into rehearsals on a Monday. And I was like, this is totally different like lifestyle. But I know like, like I mentioned with Morella, like my friend was in rehearsals for like three months because they have like 12 yeah. shows. So it all, it all just depends like on which cruise line as well. And I think most of our from like one month to up to three. Yeah. Um, how did you become a performer on a cruise? <laughs> well like I said I, I just sent my showreel off I think they were looking for one male dancer because someone had dropped out so I got it in an easier way but it was still lots of people sending in the showreel so it yeah. was still against other people if that makes sense um, Are there opportunities for stronger MT singers and actors rather than dance? If you run about cruises I'd say yes because like for Carnival, for example, they require, if you're doing it as a dancer, they require you to sing as well. So it's dancer yeah. with singing or like singer with dance. So like, and singers get paid more. So if you're a stronger singer, it's better for you. And if, yeah. especially if you're a singer dancer. So I think there is opportunities out there for all the singers who are more MT based as well. It's just looking at the right cruise lines, like literally just look at them all. And then go on YouTube as well, because a lot of them have like, you're not meant to video the shows, but a lot of them like put them on YouTube as well or like yeah. the trailers and stuff. So it's best just find what's right for you. Um, what course did you take at uni and what did you think of it? <laughs> I did. So a level, level six diploma in dance. And what did I think of it? No, after three <laughs> years, after evaluating it, it was one of the best things I did do because I met 
loads of new friends like you got to work with industry people but I just struggled at college like fit not fitting in but like getting used to like the long days because it's eight till six every day as you know so like it's just long <laughs> but, yeah <laughs> Adam's laughing he knows my college days <laughs> and Amy everyone knows what you were like yeah <laughs> anyway better um, now <laughs> what do you find difficult when you're on a cruise ship sea days really? so basically yeah so when we're not in port sea days can be long like we were it depends like on the ship but like our ship was pretty small for our like compared to say like celebrity or like royal yeah. and there wasn't loads to do so like if it was sunny you could go up top deck and sunbathe but if it weren't sunny you like you just sat in your room all day and the rooms are quite like small as well and you have to share, which sharing's fine. Like I loved my roommate and everything, but like it can just be long. There's only so much Netflix you can do. But that's why a lot of people now we're in lockdown say, "Oh, I'm used to it because I've been on a cruise ship." Yeah. Because you can't get off a cruise ship if you're in the middle of the sea. So like we're used to being trapped somewhere. But at least you're with your friends when you're on a cruise ship. Whereas yeah, you'll probably lockdown, find lockdown. sea days easier now. Oh, there's Suze. Suze was my roommate on the ship. Oh, hello. <laughs> you'll probably find sea days a lot easier now. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Because <laughs> it's just like a mini lockdown. Um, where are some of the places you visited when you were on a cruise ship? Oh, um, <laughs> so Europe-wise, like, oh, here we go. We did Iceland, France, Norway, a lot of Norway, <laughs> um, <laughs> Finland, Russia, Estonia. Uh, and then we did, like, South America. So we did, like, Brazil. Where else did we do? Argentina, Costa Rica, Colombia, like loads of places. Like, yeah, that's what we're good. Yeah, that's what we're good about our ship because it was like small. We can fit into more like ports and like we got to do so many countries where that's when, when you're deciding which cruise to do as well. Well, obviously you don't decide you wait till they offer you. But like company wise, look at like Royal Caribbean, they're so big a lot of their ports are just six ports for the whole yeah. six months. So it's deciding if you want to do it for the countries or do it for the money. Like, it's that aspect sometimes. Yeah. Um, is it hard to adapt to become a dancer on a cruise ship than on land? I, I wouldn't say it's much different, but, like, if you're at sea, which majority of the time you are when you're doing shows, like, because yeah. they're at night time and you're travelling to the next place... I say it can be hard when it's rocky like we had it a few times rocking it's just learning to adapt to the rockiness sometimes but like a dance captain and like the entertainment manager will decide if it is too rocky like we were going through the baby skate which is like the worst place to be and we looked like up and down and we like had to cancel our show and, like the singers did it because yeah because they just stand there, they can stand there and sing, whereas like the dancers can't just stand there and just <laughs> dance. So <laughs> like, a bit of a kick. <laughs> yeah, so they, they stood in and did the show for us, which is good. But it is hard to adapt, but it isn't much different if it's yeah. calm. It's just like being on land sometimes. Um, have you had any embarrassing experiences on a cruise ship? Yes. <laughs> Oh, I no. fell off I fell off the stage at least twice. <laughs> so basically one number we had to like ride scooters and I got a bit excited and went too close to the edge. But it was it was easily hideable. Like I like fell off and then quickly jumped back on. <laughs> and then another time I just fell off. Like it was funny, like there wasn't many people there, so it was fine that time. But yeah, th there might embarrassing things on stage, but many embarrassing moments around the ship, many. <laughs> <laughs> you're always doing something wrong to make people laugh uh, let's have a look do you get to a point on a cruise ship where you're kind of over the situation honestly yes but then I think the thing that helped us was so our contract was nine months but we had like six months and then we had dry dock so we were allowed to come home for like a week or two and then we went back on. So it was kind of like a refresher for us. So, like, we all got to, like... I think it's when you know you're going home, you're a bit like, right, I'm over this, I want to go home, sort of thing. Yeah. And then when we when we all came back on, I think, especially because we are going to South America as well for three months, we are all kind of, like, refreshed, ready to go again. 
it it does get hard like because the days get so repetitive everything's the same so it it does get hard sometimes um has anyone else got any questions we seem to be empty um let's have a skim oh there's one there what how often did you come back home oh there we go oh they're all Um, moving now (laughs) yeah um all the all depends on how the length of the cruise like we were quite lucky because our home port was we had Rasif which is in Scotland we yes. had Newcastle and Southampton so like when we did Europe it was like one week cruise and then we'll be back in Southampton so like I didn't always get to see family because like mine are all up north so it was quite hard but like it was easy for like supplies like when yeah, you're in like the UK you, you can home. get like your sweets your crisps your snacks your apples and your oranges <laughs> <laughs> um, all that can, yeah all that but like when we did south america it was a whole 70 days around south america so we weren't in the uk for like 70 days yeah so it all depends but like example chris who went to carnival like he was in his area for six months he was never in the uk for six months he was wow. all in that so it all depends which ship you're on in there like home ports and everything yeah um how do you keep yourself relevant as a dancer when you're away from the industry for so long oh see that's a hard one it's a hard one for cruises because like like you said you're away for so long and keep yourself relevant but it's just getting yourself back out there and the thing is when you're on a cruise you're building up so much like repertoire for like say show reels again because a lot of the time cruises take show reels now like a lot of them ask for them so like doing that and building it all up and sending it off again is putting yourself back out there and it's just using your social media platforms to like especially get yourself out there because if somebody sees you then they're gonna like you so it's just all that definitely um how many were in your crew uh in the show team there was 10 of us so we had four singers six dancers so three girls three males (laughs) um do you need an agent to audition for cruises no no you don't like like the ones I did out of college were all up and I don't have an agent at the moment like private auditions can be easy to get in and get yourself yeah. known but I, I, anyone can get from open auditions especially for cruises like I know a lot of people that do yeah um how long did you rehearse oh you've already answered that but yeah I pray for them anywhere yeah I rehearsed for a month <laughs> <laughs> amazing um yeah if you got like any advice for anyone that's gonna like if they're gonna go for a cruise ship audition? Oh, so for an audition, wear correct, like not uniform, but like correct clothing <laughs> that suits your body. Like you need to make yourself look good. Yeah. Especially like for the females, like. And the thing is, like I'd also say, don't be disheartened if you get cut. Like I said, there was like seven hundred people at hours. Like they might not see you. Yeah, but then you might you might be a blonde girl and you want brown haired girls. Like it's all different. Like especially with boys, you might want tall boys or small boys. Like it's all it's yeah. all different. And I say just make yourself stand out and definitely perform. Like for cruises, they want performers all in the face, like sort of thing. With yeah, it's it's getting harder for cruises now. Like Royal Caribbean are doing musicals, like Norwegian Eye. So it's getting to like the West End standard for them. Yeah um what is a normal day at port like that's not in the uk are you allowed to get off explore etc well with fred we were very lucky because we if we were in port as shorty so they still have activities for the guests so like one of the shore team it would be their port day so like they would have to go back during the day and do like the activities but the rest of us like we could just get off and like do whatever explore like we did so many things like when we went to Spain, we went like to the water parks, so it we were quite good. But whereas I know some of the bigger ships, they require a certain amount of crew to stay on board. Yeah. So sometimes you're not allowed to get off that day. Whereas our ship, because we didn't have a massive crew all together, we were okay. So it all depends on the ships. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> Just checking through the questions, make sure we've not missed anything. If anyone's got yeah. anything else, um, we've got five minutes left if you want to ask anything. Um, just double checking, we've covered what people have asked. Ta-da. 
I'm going to ask you a question, actually. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Is that time going to be nice? It's all right. Um, <laughs> what do you want to do next when all this is over? Mine's a really difficult situation for me at the moment because I, I want to look at cruises again, but then I also want to get a house with my partner. So it's, <laughs> it's deciding between the industry and my personal life at the moment. So, yeah. It's just deciding that, but I, I would love to do cruises again. It's like I said, you get to travel and get paid. And yeah. like, the thing is, you don't pay for your room, you don't pay for anything else, your food, unless you're going off in port to eat. But you don't, all you do is tr travel the world and get paid. Like, it's so easy. Whereas, like, say if you're on the West End, personally, for me, like, that's something I don't, re if I got offered it, amazing, but I'm not going to push for it because. No. I still have to pay my accommodation and everything. So it's it's all weighing up them aspects and it's what you want to do as a person. Yeah. Um, already been answered, but what college did you go to and what to course? <laughs> uh, I went to bodywork and I did a diploma in dance. Amazing. Do you have anything like motivational to give our listeners during this time? <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, I'd say definitely listen to like the Q and A's and everything, what people are saying, like, Obviously, I'm pretty new to the industry. Like, I've only done one contract straight out of college, whereas, like, there's people who have done it for many years that are also doing Q&As for you. Yeah. And, like, if you're interested in a certain, like, say, West End or, like, UK tours, like, speak to people who have done it. Like, I'm sh you know what the industry is like. We all speak to each other, even if you don't know someone and yeah. you dropped a message, they'd probably reply to you. So it's, like, just asking questions and finding out and, like, especially before going to auditions read the briefs they give you if you get one yeah. read the briefs because that's the key aspect of like being strong for your performance and like if you've got to sing choosing the right songs like that suit that style of the show like that's all I really say and like work hard like especially now like do online dance classes like definitely like we've got loads <laughs> <laughs> yeah all, all day today and tomorrow <laughs> Amazing. Right, thank yeah. you. Um, I'm sorry fine. that started late. Guys. Thank you for joining us. Um, we've got loads coming up all weekend and please remember now that it is a bit of a different situation, um, you do need to be accepted into all your Zoom classes, so please join 10 minutes before. Thank you. Thanks. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>